Hello everyone, the Chilean Retro Gamers back. Let's begin this new project. Adsons have been trial and two for the NES development 1990, as you can see there. Let's begin. Well, this game also has um, eight worlds, just like the first one, first Advent Trial and game. But definitely, this particular game is much easier than the first one, as a whole. Of course, it gets harder and harder throughout the levels, throughout the worlds. But as I told you, as a whole, this is much easier. Special, especially because of the new feature which is added in this game, from this game, and also in Adventure Island 3, the animals, the dinosaurs, your bodies. This one, for example. This is the ice one, if I'm not mistaken. He shoots some fireballs, something like that, from the tail. I'm very fast, also. Another new feature is a uh, bonus stage after every single level. Choose an egg, you can get even extra lives. And score, like, now. 2000 points. Uh, I normally suck at this bonus game. I mean, I, the minimal uh, score you can get there is 100 points. Most of the time I get 100 points. Which is a pity. And shameful at the same time, yes. Oh. Many people criticize this game as well, the third one, of course the first one is included in this uh, criticism, uh, because of the kind of levels uh, which are normally repeated throughout the worlds. Uh, I don't know, typical um, green fields level, the beach, um, jungles, the forest, things like that. This is the fire guy. This is a typical criticism, but in every single world there are different levels, especially the last one in which you can you have to fight the boss. This is another feature, new bosses. Different bosses, not only the same boss with different heads, just like the first one. No, here you have to fight different animals. Well, the thing is that in, in each of those levels with bosses, uh, the, the kind of level is different. I mean, a uh, jungle, a desert, a snow level. There, there is variety, and of course the repeated levels, as I told you, these are the, the green fields, the caves like now, the water levels. But anyway, it is very interesting game. These are very interesting games. Ouch. Oh, the ice guy again. Nice. I think the fire guy, the fire dinosaur, also can survive. I mean, I can step on uh, lava. Oh, there's water, whatever. But he can't do it. There's a volcano... volcano... Um, world, also. The one before the, the last one, if I am not mistaken. Okay. As I told you, I'm gonna be sucking a lot at this bonus. 200 points, you see? Very, very little score in every single of them. I cannot be guessing all the time. The problem is, when you suck all the time, that's a different thing. Okay, this is... Forest. Oh, this is the eggplant. Renovated. At least... It's not that long la in comparison to the previous one. In terms of time, I mean. I got a life and also full energy. Good. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Ah, the ice guy again. Repeat it. On a stage once more. Let's see if I can get something more interesting. Alive or something like that. No, 100 points. I told you guys, I told you. This is not a, this is not a simple, vague statement. It makes sense. Okay, this is a different level which is only present in this particular world. This sort of jungle. Be. And this is the death water I, I was referring to. It looks like lava, but I don't think this is. This is like a toxic liquid or something like that. What's this? Ah, this is the fire guy. Look, I can step on this with death water. Um, so, but you have to be careful with the energy thing at the top. You have to get have to be getting fruits and all that, of course, to make sure you will keep alive. You cannot take your, the whole time for analyzing, for defeating every single enemy. 
or for wasting time like right now, you see? That's why you have to be careful, analyze, not, not to analyze so much, sorry, to get as many fruits as possible, and... And that way, through that way, it is possible to pass a level with no so much problem now. Let's see, please, no 100 points, no 100 points, 200 points, you see, you see... It? I mean, if you are lucky enough, you can get, every, I mean, alive every single level. But let's be honest, I, I don't think I'll, I'll be getting more than two, likely, uh, extra lives. Okay, this is the last level of the world. To fight the first boss of the entire game. I don't remember. Ah, I think I remember what it is. Sort of plants, something like that, I'm not sure. Some animals are difficult to identify because I was streaming this game some... A month ago, something like that, and we were analyzing with the co-commentators what those animals are, some of them difficult to identify, difficult to differentiate from, I don't know, <laughs> actual animals or strange creatures. Okay. I lost the animal. What's this? Ah, this is the flying guy. I don't really like it. It's not very useful. It could be useful in terms of speed and to get through the levels more quickly, like now. But in terms of attack and, and all that, I mean, I don't really like it. Okay, well... At least... You can get rid of the animal for fighting the boss, which is very useful. Okay, I, I said this is a sort of plan, actually, I don't know what it is. A living thing, which is already dead, as you can see. So it doesn't really matter what it was. And the first world, the first island is clear, the first island, and the second one is, well, very similar to the previous one. Green fields, jungles, mountains, lakes, and all the crap. Uh, lake island, okay. Could be playing water levels. In the previous world, there is a, a water level they didn't play, it's very random in terms of the paths the character takes uh, throughout the... the the world. It's very random. I play around four or five levels. Sometimes in the first world you can play seven, eight. It's very random in that sense, the, the, the game. You cannot control that, I think. I think you cannot control that. Okay. And again, this is a jungle. Repeated level. Not so much variety at the beginning, but as I told you, at the, at the end of every single world, you can see a different level with a different challenge, which makes the game much more interesting and fun, funnier to play. Let's see. You see, at least I got a life in this game, but I don't, 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 don't think that will be repeated all the time. I mean, that will happen two or three times at most. Forest. Let's see. What's this? Skateboard? Oh well. Foxy! Yeah, when you are so fast you miss stuff like the previous egg. What's this? This is the water guy. I suppose after this level I have to play a water area. I like water areas. Some people hate them. Which is acceptable, which... I can respect the, the, that opinion. Of course, I like water levels, but... I got another life, nice. But not all the time, I mean, from time to time to play a water level is okay, but... To play an entire world of a water... of, of water levels, well... In, th in that sense, I don't really like it. Okay, water level as I told you, but that will happen in the next episode because of the time. I, I could play, but I prefer to start the next part, part number two of this Let's Play, playing this water level. So, thanks for watching. And see you in part number 2 of Hudson's Adventure Island 2 for the NES. Goodbye.